This is the third and final part of the All Clone Trooper Types series. First are the Clone Shock Troopers. They were the special forces of the Coruscant Guard, and served primarily as a police force for Republic government buildings and prisons. They also acted as bodyguards for politicians in some cases. They wore distinctive red clone armor. There was also a variant of the Clone Shock Troopers, which wore armor similar to the AT-RT Troopers. They used massifs to track down prisoners who escaped. Second are the Clone Trooper Pilots. They were trained to pilot starfighters and gunships, as well as to repair vehicles when needed. They wore special clone armor that supplied oxygen to their helmets. In the later years of the Clone Wars, they wore a unique helmet that was not fully enclosed. Third are the Clone Tank Gunners. They were trained to operate cannons and guns on tanks, warships, and artillery cannons. They wore regular clone armor that was outfitted with additional armor padding on their chest and shoulder plates. Fourth are the Clone Trooper Commanders. They were high-ranked clone officers that led entire battalions or regiments, which included 576 to 2,304 other clones respectively. Clone commanders generally stayed in the back of battles and commanded their troops from command centers, only getting involved in combat when the situation required it. Initially, clone commanders were recognizable by their yellow markings, but this was later changed when clone commanders were assigned to specific clone divisions. Fifth are the clone trooper captains. As high-ranking officers, they led entire clone companies, which included 144 other clones. They acted as diverse leaders and fought with their men in the front lines. Initially, clone captains were recognizable by their red markings, but this was later changed when the clone captains were assigned to specific clone divisions. Sixth are the clone trooper lieutenants. They led entire platoons, which included 36 other clones. As was the same with the other two ranks previously, clone lieutenants initially were recognizable by their blue markings, but this was later changed when clone lieutenants were assigned to specific clone divisions. Seventh are the clone trooper sergeants. They commanded squads, which included nine other clones. They were initially recognizable by their olive green markings, but this was later changed when the clone sergeants were assigned to specific clone divisions. Eighth are the clone cadets. These were clones who were still in combat training on Kamino. They underwent rigorous training and were tested by their performance in the battlefield simulation rooms. They wore padded clone armor that included a clear helmet visor. Ninth are the clone advisors. They served as advisors to clone commando squads by informing the squads about their missions, status, and objectives. Tenth were the clone stormtroopers. They were the first generation of stormtroopers. They initially wore the phase two armor, but it was later replaced with the standard stormtrooper armor Clone stormtroopers were eventually mostly replaced by regular human stormtroopers. Last are the anti-troopers. They were specifically bred by the Kaminoans as a private army that they could use to rebel against the Galactic Empire. They wore Phase I clone armor and were equipped with jetpacks. They were also trained as expert snipers. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, May the force be with you.